what's up? We got a lot going on today. I'm wearing one of my favorite colors, Periwinkle, but then I was like, I've got pink nails. I wanna do pink lipstick and I tried, it's a CoverGirl product, it's their Exhibitionist Ultra Matte in Wink Wink. It looks pretty pink on camera in person. It is so comically vibrantly pink. I walked into our office here and I was like, hey, to Tyler, and he was like, whoa. <laughs> I was like, what's up? <laughs> What do you think about the lipstick? But then he was kind of looking, he was like, actually, I kind of like it. I'm like, all right, well, calm down because I'm not wearing it out of the house right now. Not that there's anything wrong with it, but it's a little bright and I know the things we need to do today. It's not the vibe for what we're doing anyway. Okay, but I do like this formula. So if you're looking for like a new lipstick, I'm not usually big on matte lipsticks, but this one's like really creamy, easy to apply and it looks really nice. So anyway, okay. Hi. <laughs> so today we are doing an Ulta haul. I ordered quite a random assortment of things and I thought I don't always do just a straight up regular old haul where I show you, but it, I think this is a good one. This is a good one to share. So we're gonna do that. I did wanna take a second to thank today's video sponsor, which is Warby Parker. These bad boys are from Warby Parker. Again, and I say this every time I work with them, that is the thing I get the most DMs about on any of my social media is what glasses are you wearing? Cause I'm wearing these all of the time, like on my stories and stuff like that. These are the Esme glasses. I also own the Vaughn. Warby Parker offers everything you need for your eyes. They've got eyeglasses, sunglasses, contact lenses, and eye exams. And you can shop with them both online and in store, which is cool. And they also have an app where you can like try on the glasses virtually, which I think is neat. But the best part is that their frames start at $95. That includes prescription lenses lenses. My husband has Warby Parker glasses and he actually just ordered another at home try on kit. So what they offer, and I do think this is really smart, they offer a free try on. So you can pick out five different frames on the Warby Parker site, have it sent to you so you can actually try them on your face. Think about how important that is. Like something could fit you well one way, but not like width wise. It might just look weird with where your eyebrows are placed. Like there's so much that affects how glasses look on you and what you like on yourself. And so he did it and uh, we did find some new glasses he's gonna get that look really, really cute. But anyway, my point here is it really is so convenient that you can try those on at home, get a second opinion from your spouse, whoever you live with, your friends, your family. And then at the end of it, once you've decided which ones you want, or maybe you wanna try different ones, you send those back. They have a prepaid return shipping label. It's super easy. And then if you want to, you can order the frames you want. You can get prescriptions added to them. They have blue light lenses. They have sunglasses that also have prescription if you want them. Like they just have so many different options on there. I think it's so cool. So I, of course, when I was picking these out, tried on lots of different frames and I'll show you some footage here and it's just so fun because you can also try different styles that maybe you wouldn't think you would like that you might end up falling in love with so I love it I know you guys will too if you are in the market for new glasses or maybe you just want blue light lenses maybe you wear contacts and you just want to get some blue light lenses or you want to get your contacts through them there's so many different options and they carry some of the most common brands of contact lenses like AccuView and Biofinity and for contacts you can actually say 15% off your first order of contacts with no promo code needed, which I think is really cool. So if you wanna try out their free home try-on kit where you can try on five pairs of glasses for free at home, it ships for free, there's a prepaid shipping label for you to send it back, you can go to warbyparker.com slash Jessica Braun to check it out. I will have the link down in the description box right at the top for you as well. And yeah, I know you guys will love it. I love my glasses, they're super well-made. This is always such a fun sponsorship for me to do because these are the glasses we wear and we love them. So it's, it's an easy, natural fit for me. So thank you again, Warby Parker, for supporting my channel and sponsoring this portion of the video. All right, let's dive into the haul. So I have such a weird mix. And you know what? There's one thing I've already been using I need to grab. I usually take off the glasses like for the rest of the video because I always feel like the glare is going to be just because of, I'm you know, I'm filming. But I don't think it's too bad, so I'm, I think I'm just gonna leave them on. Anyway, so this is what I, I had already opened because I was in need of it. This is the Ava NYC Main Magic 10-in-1 Primer. I love this stuff. And you know, I go back and forth trying other detangling sprays, heat protectant sprays for like right when you get out of the shower. There are other ones I like, but I continually go back to this one because I feel like the price is right, it smells nice, it does a great job, and also the sprayer, man. I'm gonna spray it just once. It is so easy. You can have this upside down and still spraying and you know how your hands end up being slippery. It's still, oh, it smells so good, you guys. 
this literally just checks all of the boxes. If you are in need of some kind of spray for your hair to help detangle and heat protect before you go in with brushing it when it's wet or, and which I know you probably shouldn't do, but I do. Okay, I do it. <laughs> I don't think I'm alone there, but my point is it really is incredible. So this is one I've repurchased a lot and I wanted to bring up because it's so freaking good. All right, a bath product, is, and this is another one I've repurchased a lot, is the Knipe, I think I said it right, the Mineral Bath Salt. This is their Arnica one. They recommended it to me at a spa near me and I bought it there. And of course they mark up their products because that's what you do, like even at a salon and stuff. I bought it there and loved it because it really made a difference in like, if I took a bath at the end of a night and I was sore, it really made a difference in how my muscles felt. Then I found out Ulta sells it for like half the price. I was like, yes. So I bought the original one there and now I've been buying it for 20 bucks at Ulta every time. So I love this stuff. I've discovered this whole brand because I just bought their bubble bath like a month or two ago. They have a lot of different kinds of salts. It's like a high-end bath salt, but it's like actually really good. So love this. Very glad to have some more of it. Okay, speaking of like repurchases, this is the e.l.f. Camo Powder Foundation. <laughs> I bought another one. I really like it. I feel like this is one of those products you either love or hate. It has such high coverage. It's insane. The shade I was using was, I don't know the exact shade. It works, but it's a little dark. So I was like, well, I want to have another one. Oh, this might be too light. Dang it. I knew I wouldn't be able to just hit it perfectly in the middle. It's pretty light. We'll see. I'll give it a whirl, but I love this powder. However, you should know it definitely is a powder. So you're going to see it. If you go out into like bright sunlight, I like to try to pair this with a setting spray. Like I, you know, I love that Charlotte Tilbury one. A MAC Fix Plus, like those kinds of setting sprays that kind of help melt it in. I do think it makes it look even better, but man, like this just makes your skin look like freaking porcelain. Like it's incredible. So really, really like it enough that I bought another, but even still, I, this was a hundred, shade a hundred, and it's, I think a little too light. I want to say the one I had was like 120, but it is much darker than this. Another repurchase. I promise I'm getting to new stuff. This is the e.l.f. Wow Brow. I go through this stuff like water. I love this. It's just a little itty bitty spoolie brow pomade, but it's very not pigmented. And I know that sounds like a negative, but it's not. It is the perfect amount of pigment for me that where you don't really have to think about it. So that's why I've continued to buy it over and over again. I genuinely love it. I think I'm trying a different shade though. No, no, this is neutral brown. I think that's what I normally get. Maybe I get brunette. Is that even a shade? I Don't you feel like the names are all the same across the board and it's, it's confusing to even remember like, wait, in this brand, what do I get? I think that might be my normal shade. Okay, now we've got a whole bunch of new, new baby. This is the thing. I was so excited when this came in the mail. This is the L'Oreal Infallible Fresh Wear Bronzer. I'm so excited. I love their infallible powder formula in general. So assuming this is a similar formula. Mm. It's basically a powder foundation, just different colors. You know what I mean? So in theory, I could just get a deeper color of probably their infallible powder and I would bet it would be similar, but that looks like a really good bronzer shade for me. So obviously they have some different shades. I got 200 fair and it, this is super soft like super soft, you guys. I get so weirdly excited when drugstore brands launch new bronzers. Like, what is that? But anyway, very excited about this. Can't wait to actually try it. So I also got two more shades of the Maybelline Vinyl Lip Products. These are their vinyl inks. These are special, man. <laughs> they are the weirdest like consistency because they're like creamy and comfortable, but they're super lightweight and super pigmented. So this one is the shade 20, which is Koi. Oh, that's much deeper than I thought. I was thinking that'd be more natural. That'll be pretty though in the fall and winter, kind of more berry. I thought it'd be a little lighter. And then this one is interesting because the packaging right there, like it's two different tones that I don't, I feel like that's not supposed to be that way. But anyway, this is the shade 50 Wicked. It makes me think of the musical Wicked slash the book. Yeah, oh no, that's a pretty red. Okay, so excited to have these. I don't know what shade I already have. It's at the workspace. I just love it. The formula is so comfortable. So I'm excited to have some more. If you have a favorite shade in this range, let me know because I wanted to find another neutral shade. So we'll see, but very nice formula. Mm. So good. I bought the e.l.f. Complexion Duo. I am such a fan of some of their brushes, especially in this line where they're like 
meant to be used for like cream and foundation and concealer. They're so good. And so this one is, I'm, I think meant to be like foundation and concealer. And I just thought that was so convenient, but this would also be awesome for cream bronzer. You guys, I'm telling you, this would be perfect. So I'm just excited to own it. I'm not usually big on like duo brushes. Cause I usually store mine in like a cup. And then one of them is always getting the short end of the stick <laughs> anyway so we'll see but they're both super soft i loved the idea of it i got a couple of new products from covergirl this one is one that i hadn't even heard of but it's their simply ageless line and this is their triple action concealer depuff conceal and care it says it's got a cooling ceramic wand all right we're gonna open this bad boy it says it's got hyaluronic complex and yeah the it's supposed to depuff with their cooling ceramic wand for an instant cold effect lightweight medium to full coverage radiant finish that's a lot vitamin c niacinamide instantly reduces the appearance of wrinkles hydrates for a more youthful appearance okay well we'll see <laughs> okay this feels like it feels slightly cooler like it's literally plastic you guys or well I guess it's ceramic this feels like play makeup do you know what I mean like makeup that's not even makeup like there's nothing even it's just pretend like Genevieve has some this is what this reminded me of so I can't I can't unthink that this is gonna feel really weird to apply I think I got the shade ivory by the way so it only really gets it on like a little dot or I'm sorry like on the end so it says you dot it on and then you can smooth it out with the wand. It definitely feels cooling. Interesting. Hey man, they're trying something new. I'm all for it. It does feel hydrating, but like it feels like it's kind of kind of going to stay in place kind of nicely. So I'm very curious to try it. I feel like a lot from their Simply Ageless line I end up liking because it's usually a little more hydrating, a little bit more forgiving. And so I'm kind of intrigued to try it. I don't know that I love the wand idea, but again, I'm glad they're trying something new and I'm excited to try the formula too. So we shall see. The other product I picked out from CoverGirl is their Exhibitionist Stretch and Strengthen Mascara. It says the last strengthening formula protects against breakage. It's got biotin, peptides, provitamin E, lash extension effect. I'm so curious. So it says the wavy bristle Christmas tree shaped brush. Why do they word it like that? I feel like there's a million other things they could compare it to. It's weird that they said Christmas tree shaped. That's what it says. It's so weird. They could have said like pine tree shaped. Like, I don't know. That was, an, that was a choice. I'd love to have been in the room while they were discussing this and they all decided that the best way to describe it was Christmas tree shaped. You'd say, you know, sugar cone shaped upside down. <laughs> So the Christmas tree shaped brush allows the mascara to reach every lash from root to tip for longer, thicker, more defined lashes. The formula wraps around... <gasps> Is it supposed to actually be like a, a tubing mascara? It says the formula wraps each individual lash to create volume, lift, and stretch for an at-home lash extension effect. I have been trying random like tubing mascaras from the drugstore and none of them compare to like the higher end tubing. So that sounds like what they're trying to say, but usually they would just say it's a tubing mascara too. You know what I mean? So I don't know, maybe it's not, but the wording of that definitely seems that way. Kind of cute packaging. It looks like a Christmas tree. I like this kind of brush though, for real. And it feels really nice and sturdy. I, I like when they don't bend. So, so far so good. We'll see once I try it tomorrow. Okay, I got two other mascaras. Okay, don't judge. They were having like a sale on Ulta for like high-end mascaras were like 15 bucks or something. And so I kind of looked through the list and I was like, eh, none of them really stood out. Like some that I like, like I like the Monsieur Big one from Lancome, but I was like, I don't need that right now. And I don't need to try it again. I know I like it. So, but one of these was super highly rated on there that I hadn't tried. It's the Clinique High Impact Mascara. So it's not normally 15 bucks, but I got it during that sale. I'm not gonna open it just yet because I just opened the CoverGirl one. I'm gonna try that first, but I'm excited to give this a whirl because people seem to freaking like it, like love it. They want some more of it, I had to. But it's fragrance-free, allergy tested, okay. I'm excited to try because like I said, people seem to be big fans. And another one that's a, a favorite of mine, but I haven't tried this particular one in a few, well, definitely over a year. And I was like, I want to try it again and compare it mentally to my other Essence one. That's my favorite. This is the Essence Lash Princess in the green tube. I've really liked this over the years. So I wanted to give her a whirl again and see if I still like it as much. Essence just makes really good mascaras, you guys. My favorite, I'll link below. Most of you guys already know it, but if you don't, it's like five bucks and it is, it's what I'm wearing today. It's my absolute favorite. Oh my gosh, 
gosh, it's so good. So some, oh, I rebought a different shade of the Maybelline Green Edition Super Drop Tinted Oil. So the shade I got was, I wanna say 30, and online, man, it looks like a perfect match. It was so dark. So I haven't even tried this on the skin. So this is shade 10. Oh yeah, this looks like it'll work a little better. But it's still, for a shade 10, that still seems a little dark, but this this is probably gonna work really well for me. So we're gonna see, I'll have to do like a try on video soon with a lot of these, or I might just try them off screen and we'll see, but that's gonna work really well. So shade 10, if you're anywhere near mine and you were wanting to give it a whirl, should work for you. That feels really nice. I'm excited to try it and see if it's a dupe for any other high-end one similar that I have tried, you know? So a couple of random fun purchases. I recently bought the MAC Single Shadow in All That Glitters. I knew I'd forget the name because Amy Lynn here on YouTube, who I love, wears all the time. It looks so beautiful on her. I love that freaking stuff, you guys. It is like my favorite everyday shadow right now. I just put it all over, blend it into the crease, that's it. Well, I had added this to my car and then removed it like three different times, but I wanted to try it. This is in expensive pink. So Ulta on their site only sells a handful, like literally a couple of single shadows from MAC. And this is one of them. All that glitters is one, expensive pink is one, and then I don't remember what the other ones were. So I wanted to try this. This looks, it's not pink. <laughs> oh, okay, it looks a little pinker on screen. All right, that is gorgeous. Holy cannoli. It catches the light in different ways. I guess that's my point. But it's kind of a peachy pink eyeshadow and I'm totally a fan. That was super creamy too. So I've been kind of like into trying these like single shadows from MAC. So I think that's kind of fun. That's really, really pretty, holy crap. So I also bought, <laughs> Another bronzer from Nabla because I've had their blush for a very long time and it's taken me forever to like break down and buy another product from them. And this one seems to be liked by a lot of my fellow YouTubers. I love the packaging they do. I just think it's pretty. I love the like texture they have on the product and it stays for quite a while. So I got the bronzer in Ombra, A-M-B-R-A, -A, and we're just gonna see. So shade wise, it looks like it's gonna work pretty well. That was the L'Oreal Infallible bronzer, and that's this one. So similar-ish, I think the uh, Nabla one is a little bit oranger, but these are just so beautiful. That blush I have is so, so stunning too. There was, is there a highlight in this range that's in the same kind of packaging? Again, there's one that I keep removing from my cart then adding it back and like saving it for later back and forth. That might be one that I break down and buy soon because it also looks so pretty. And I love their like powder product formula. So very excited to finally have bought that and to finally use it. And I figure summertime is a good time to be trying out bronzers. Although I guess you'd need bronzers more in the winter. I don't know. Speaking of summertime needs, I got sucked in by the packaging of this one, okay? I want you to tell me when I show you this, what it makes you think of. This makes me think of vacations when I was like seven years old to the beach. The fact that this is like slightly off white and it like the font choice, the color choice, it looks like my childhood beach vacations. Like I can't explain it. And of course it helps that it's literally the brand I guess is vacation. I bought it strictly for that reason. Okay, this is overpriced sunscreen, but I bought it and I'm gonna use it. So it says it's their classic lotion, SPF 30, by the legendary Vacation of Miami, leisure enhancing and excessively good sunscreen for long days by the pool. Water resistant 80 minutes. The scent of summer is in quotes. I haven't opened it yet. Let's see if it's got a smell. My friend was just asked me the other day about sunscreens that don't have like a sunscreen smell. And I was like, oh, pff, got a million, but I had to like narrow it down. I really like sunscreens like for the body by La Roche Posay. We use their like kids one on our kids and it's it's just so good. And we, we use it for ourselves. If you were curious, ooh, rubs in really. Oh no, it this one has a sunscreen smell. Holy moly. But it smells like my childhood. Oh my gosh, I just can't explain it. Very excited to have it. Would I, well, we'll see. I don't know that I would necessarily repurchase, but although it did feel really nice and it blended in, there was no white cast or anything, but you know, sunscreen. That was just a fun, fun purchase. So I hope you enjoyed. That was everything I got. I need to wipe these swatches off before I get it all over my room here. But I hope you enjoyed this random little Ulta haul. I loved doing this today. And if you wanna see this kind of a haul more often, I usually do it try on style, but sometimes I get so many different things that it doesn't make sense to do it try on. And in this case, like, I mean, I guess I absolutely could have done this try on style, but you know, sometimes it's just fun to sit and talk about what we bought. <laughs> I don't know. It's very like old school YouTube for sure to me. And that's, I think why I enjoy it. But let me know if you want to see this more often this kind. And I love you guys. Thanks for watching. I hope you subscribe if you somehow are new. 
Well, I mean, like, really, that you somehow stumbled upon this video. Not that you're somehow new. That sounds weird. <laughs> I'm just gonna go now, guys. Love you. Bye.